Today's lesson is lesson six, fractional parts. This is what a fraction looks like, a common fraction. A fraction has two parts, the numerator and the denominator. The numerator, or top number, tells me what part is being represented, usually shaded or whatever it's asking for. The denominator always tells me the whole amount that are in my my section. Okay. So here we have what fraction of the circle is shaded. So I'm going to write draw my fraction bar and I'm going to count. Since I want to know how much is shaded, my numerator should be how many parts are shaded. In this case there's only one part that is shaded. The denominator tells me how many parts there are total. So I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six parts total, so my fraction will be one sixth. Now notice I did count the shaded part because it's part of the whole. Okay. So I can also group, use a fraction to tell me part of a group. Okay. So here we have what number is one half of 450? So when I'm trying to find out one half of a number or a fractional part of a number, I'm going to take my oops, going to take my number 450 and divide it by the denominator. In this case, two. Okay, so two goes into four two times. That's four. Subtract zero. Bring down the five. 2 goes into 5 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract. 1 left over. Bring down the 0. 2 goes into 10 5 times. So 1 half of 450 is 225. Okay. So for this next one, it wants to know what is 1 third of $4 or 450. So again, I'm going to take the number 450 and divide it by the denominator, 3. 3 goes into 4 one time. 3 times 1 is 3. Subtract. Bring down the 5. 3 goes into 15 five times. That's 15. Subtract. Bring down the 0. 3 goes into 0 zero times. So 1 third of 450 is 150. I can also do this with money. So here I have what is one fifth of four dollars and fifty cents. Again, I'll take my number, so four dollars and fifty cents, and divide it by the denominator five. So five cannot go into four, so I'm going to put a zero. Decimal. Five goes into forty-five nine times. Five times nine is forty-five. Subtract, zero, bring down the zero. Five goes into zero, zero times. So, one-fifth of four dollars and fifty cents is the same as ninety cents. Okay, this problem says copy the figure and shade one-third of it. So I would take, I'd draw the box, I need to shade a third of it. So if we look, and we know that one third, oops, I put too many, there we go. I know that one third of six, six squares, because how many I have, would be six divided by three, which equals two. So I need to fill in two of these parts. So I take my shader, and color in two parts. Okay. Now another way to do this is since it's asking for it in thirds, we can see that we have one, two, three columns, and I need to fill in just one of them. It's another way to look at it. All right, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.